so the, the, the other thing to mention is that unlike finasteride, which is, you know, you can get generic forms, etc., cetera, uh, topical finasteride uh, needs to be compounded. So you need and to it needs a, to be compounded properly, which yes. means that it has, you have to go to, a, to someone who's experienced at the compounding to make sure that you've got a stable solution, a reproducible solution uh, that you could use going forward. So, yes, it's a, it's a variation that we can use. Um, if the, as I said, if the patient really uh, doesn't want to use oral, I'm going to go to topical. Uh, but I don't think that topical is my first choice for most patients. No, that's right. So generally speaking, we would start people on a oral version of the finasteride and see how they got, uh, got on. Uh, and if they you know, were concerned about side effects or were experiencing sound effects and really had this inclination to switch to a topical version, then we could get that compounded and trialing that and seeing. But as you said, you know, we've had people uh, on, you know, a small dose, you know, 0.25% uh, finasteride that are getting side effects with that. So it again, it is about titrating, much like with the oral dose, you got to titrate to find what is that minimum effective dose that is going to, you know, lower that level enough, but not, you're not getting the side effects associated with that.